Hello, I'm Richard Fenning. I was the best man at Mark and Helen's wedding and Mark has been my oldest and dearest friend since 1976. I am so sorry that I can't be there with you today, but I wanted to pay this tribute to Helen on behalf of the Fenning family. I just arrived back in London this morning on my way home to Singapore, having spent the last four days with Mark and his family. And I have to tell you, it is completely overwhelming to see the love and support that you are all giving to the Thomas and Pooley families at this difficult time. It may seem normal to you, but as an outsider, it is truly exceptional to see how much support these people are getting at such a difficult time for them. It really is exceptional. I wanted to share with you two specific memories of Helen that I think illustrate different sides of Helen's remarkable character and personality. The first goes back to their wedding day. As I said, I was the best man at the wedding and Stephen Daintith, who is there today, was the chief usher. When Mark selected us for these duties, he knew we would likely be rubbish and I'm glad to say that we didn't disappoint him. After the wedding ceremony and the reception, it was time for the best man speech and it seemed to be going okay. So I decided to tell a fairly controversial anecdote about a specific incident involving Mark from a few years previously. As I started recounting it, Helen was laughing and smiling. Suddenly she realized which particular incident that I was referring to. The laughing and the smiling stopped. She fixed me with that extraordinary glare of hers and she stood up and she went, no, no, Richard, you can't tell this story. I suddenly realized that while she may be small, she is formidable. A wounded lioness protecting its cubs is nothing compared to Helen Pooley. Anyway, if any of you would like to know what that incident was, I'm sure Mark would be delighted to tell you. The second particular memory of Helen is from the Cayman Islands. It's about 23 years ago, I think, when we first came to visit Mark and Helen. And as you know, Mark had quickly become a very passionate tour guide for his adopted home. And he was taking time out to show us all around the island. And one day he took us to Smith's Cove and we were duly admiring it and saying how beautiful it was. And when we got back later that afternoon, Helen asked us where we'd been. And when I mentioned that we'd been to Smith's Cove, this cheeky grin crept across her face. Oh, Smith's Cove, she said. That's where I had my first kiss. What? When? Who with? shouted Mark, fuming and stomping around, as I'm sure you can all imagine. And Helen was just giving that lovely Helen giggle, that funny, cheeky, mischievous giggle that she had, particularly when she was teasing Mark something she was so accomplished at doing. There are so many happy memories of Helen that we have from our time staying in the Cayman Islands, from time here in the UK, to our travels with you in Japan, in Malaysia, in Indonesia. So many happy times and so many happy memories. <clears throat> for Carenza, Jason and Charlie, we will all do our best for you in the weeks and the months and the years ahead. But you already have something that we can't give you. You are your mother's children. You have her compassion, you have her kindness, you have her beauty, and you also have her extraordinary drive and determination. You have these virtues and qualities of a remarkable mother and a remarkable woman. And you also have the most remarkable of fathers. Over the past 20 years or so, my work has taken me virtually everywhere in the world to the far corners of our planet. And I can tell you, there is nobody else like him. He is one of a kind. He is the funniest, he is the gentlest, and he's the kindest of men. He also has unfathomable reserves of resilience and strength. 
He will look after you and we will look after him. I am proud for him to have been my dear, dear friend for the past 41 years. Thank you for the opportunity to share these thoughts and memories with you.